The cedars he planted on Lebanon. There the birds build their nests on the treetop the stork has her home. The goats find a home on the mountains and rabbits hide in the rocks. You made the moon to mark the months. The sun knows the time for its setting. When you spread the darkness it is night and all the beasts of the forest weep for. The young lions roar for their prey and ask their food from God. At the rising of the sun they steal away and go to rest in their den. Man goes out to his work to labor till evening fall. How many are your works, O Lord? In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your riches. There is the sea, vast and wide, with its moving swarms past counting, living things great and small. The ships are moving there, and the monsters you need to play with. All of these look to you to give them their food in due season. You give it, they gather it up. You open your hand, they have their fill. You hide your face, they are dismayed. You take back your spirit, they die, returning to the dust from which they came. You send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord last forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. He looks on the earth and it trembles. The mountains send forth smoke at his touch. I will sing to the Lord all my life, make music to my God while I live. May my thoughts be pleasing to him, I find my joy in the Lord. Let sinners vanish from the earth, and the wicked exist no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. You made the moon to mark the months, but the sun knows the time for its setting. How many are your works, O Lord? In wisdom you have made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Let our prayer rise like incense before you and do not 
let our hearts be turned to evil words and thoughts, but deliver us from all that might ensnare our souls. For <coughs> to you, Lord, our Lord, our eyes are turned and in you we hope. Let us not be put to shame, O our God. For to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is you our glory, honor, and worship, now and ever and forever. Then they understood that my words were kind. As a millstone is shattered, the 
Jesus on the ground, so the one who is true as the mouth of the grave. To you, Lord God, my eyes are turned, in you I take yeah. breath to spare my soul. Not with that faith and faith for me, keep me safe, keep me from the snare of those who do evil. Let the wicked fall into the trap they have set, while I pursue my way on the With all my voice I cry to the Lord, with all my voice I entreat the Lord. I pour out my trouble before him. I tell him all my distress, while my spirit faints within me. But you, O Lord, know my path. Come away where I shall walk. Stand here and stand here and trap me. Look on my right and see. There is no one who takes my love. I have no means of escape. I want to hear from my soul. I cry to you, O Lord. I have said, You are my refuge. All I have in the land of the living. Rescue me from those who pursue me, for they are stronger than I. Yeah, no. My soul I love is risen, and that I shall praise yeah. your name. Oh, I am as guilty as a prime old Why is it temperature you just 
Genesis At that time, gradually the waters receded from the earth. At the end of 150 days, the waters had so diminished that in the seventh month, on the seventeenth day of the month, the ark came to rest on the mountain of Ararat. The waters continued to diminish until the tenth month, and on the first day of the tenth month, the tops of the mountains appeared. At the end of the forty days, Noah opened the hatch he had made in the ark, and he sent out a raven to see if the water had lessened on the earth. It flew back and forth until the waters dried off from the earth. Then he sent out a dove to see if the waters had lessened on the earth. But the dove could find no place to alight and perch, and had returned to him in the ark, for there was water all over the earth. Putting out his hand, he caught the dove and drew it back to him inside the ark. He waited seven days more, and again sent the dove out from the ark. In the evening the dove came back to him, and there in its bill was a plucked off olive leaf. So Noah knew that the waters had lessened on the earth. He waited still another seven days, and then released the dove once more. And this time it did not come back. In the 601st year of Noah's life, in the first month, on the first day of the month, the water began to dry up on the earth. Noah then removed the covering of the ark and saw that the surface of the ground was drying up. In the second month, on the 27th day of the month, the earth was dry. Then God said to Noah, Go out of the ark together with your wife and your sons and your sons' wives. Bring out with you every living thing that is with you, all bodily creatures, be they birds or animals or creeping things of the earth, and let them abound on the earth, breeding and multiplying on it. So Noah came out together with his wife and his sons and his sons' wives, and all the animals, wild and tame, all the birds and all the creeping creatures of the earth left the ark, one kind after another. Then Noah built an altar to the Lord, and choosing from every clean animal and every clean bird, he offered holocausts on the altar. When the Lord smelled the sweet odor, he said to himself, Never again will I doom the earth because of man, since the desires of man's heart are evil from the start. Nor will I ever again strike down all living beings as I have done. Wisdom be
Thus says the Lord, not for the just yield wisdom, but the perverse tongue will be cut off. The lips of the just know how to please, but the mouth of the wicked how to pervert. All scales are an abomination to the Lord, but a full weight is his delight. When pride comes, disgrace comes, but with the humble is wisdom. The honesty of the upright guides them, the faithless are ruined by the duplicity. Wealth is useless on the day of wrath, but virtue saves from death. The honest man's virtue makes his way straight, but by wickedness the wicked man falls. The virtue of the upright man, of the upright saves them, but the faithless are caught in their own intrigue. When a wicked man dies, his hope perishes, and what is expected from strength comes to naught. The just man escapes trouble, and the wicked man falls in with him in his stead. With his mouth, the impious man would ruin his neighbor, but through their knowledge, the just make their escape. When the just prosper, the city rejoices, and when the wicked perish, there is jubilation. Through the blessing of the righteous, the city is exalted, but through the mouth of the wicked, it is overthrown. He who reviles his neighbor has no sense, but the intelligent man keeps silent.
Yes, O oh Lord and King, let me see my own sins, and not judge my brothers and sisters. For you are blessed forever and ever. Amen. says, forgive him, pardon him. No, he answered, if I pardon him, he will do it to me again. This man must be punished. Ah, fine, my child. Let us say a prayer and then go. So they knelt, and the elder began praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and do not forgive us our debts, as we do not forgive our debtors. Oh, that's not right, Father, he said. You made a mistake. Since you want to take your brother to the judge, this is how we'll pray. Then the brother realized his mistake, repented, it did not go to denounce his brother. So there is one great truth, our author tells us. Just as our heart is disposed towards our brother, in the same way the heart of God will be disposed towards us. Do you want God to forgive your errors? Do you want him to love you with all his heart? Then you too should love and forgive with all your heart. Let us all say with our whole soul and our whole mind, let us say, O oh, oh, Lord, have mercy. O oh, Lord, Almighty God of our fathers, we pray you hear and have mercy. O oh, Lord, have mercy. Mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray you hear and have mercy. Francis Pope of Rome, 
for our most reverend metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop Kurt, for those who serve and have served in this holy church, for our spiritual fathers, and for all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And then we pray for our government and for all in the service of our country.
I never upon the humble. Look with compassion upon all your people and protect them. Make us worthy to partake with our confirmation of these, your life creating mysteries. For we have our heads to you, expecting your abundant mercy. Through the grace, the mercies, and the loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, life creating spirit, now and ever and forever.
Praise ye God in his saints. Praise him in the firmament of his power. O Lord of hosts, be with us, for we have none. 